touching each other. Um, and before, when we we didn't click that, they're basically just kind of running up to to the sketch, and there's and there's kind of a um, well, in some cases maybe it's a little easier to to see. But you you'll you'll notice when you when you click out that it's it's got kind of an open corner. It's not really meeting as it properly should. So that's auto connect. And the one thing is um, among these wall partitions, we have a curved wall. Um, and it's, it's a little tricky because it doesn't know exactly to which side the curved wall um, uh, you want to limit the other walls. So in this case, I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to double click the curved wall. And the only thing I'm going to do is, is edit the to and from. So I'm going to change this in this from, I'm going to change the layer from interior to exterior and the exterior to interior. And that's basically going to correct the, the issue you see. So now all the walls are touching each other as it properly should. And if any of these walls shift, then the other walls will, will update accordingly. So now um, we're going to place uh, a couple doors and windows. Going to do Control S and save that. So um, the door tool uh, is located kind of in the middle of the toolbar over here. Um, so I'm just going to click this. You see, it's it's amongst. Uh, two window tools and there's a door tool here so I'm going to click that door tool and nothing immediately appears so what I need to do first is select uh, the wall I'm going to place the door into so I'm going to I'm going to select this curved wall and the first thing it's going to ask me for is a reference point so in this sketch for the partitions I place some some reference points and outputted them. So you can see, let's just select that. And then, um, just like the other elements before, doors also have catalogs. So I click the catalog tool. And I'm going to go down to my IFC standard doors. And down to single swing. I'm going to pick, if you see it in preview uh, mode here, I'm going to pick this, this clear door, um, which if you're looking in a different view, it's called uh, IFC Single Swing Lining Glass. So this is, this is the door I'm going to pick. I'm going to double click it, bring it from the catalog into uh, my file. And now right away, um, you can see the door in preview here. So immediately it's placed the door in the wall here. And what's really, what's really kind of nice about this is that all I had to do is pick this point, and this point didn't have to exist directly on the wall. This point could have been anywhere out in space. And basically, it's going to locate it's going to find the normal from whatever point you pick to um, to the wall uh, the, in the normal direction. So you don't have to have an element that's that's directly on the wall in order to to place a door or window. Um, it doesn't have to be to, to be a point. It could also be a line, and wherever that line intersects the wall is where it locates the the door. Um, and I have several options here. Um, I can I can flip the uh, the direction of swing from from left to right. So right away you can see a, a preview of of a of a two D representation of the of the door. If I want to see that door actually swinging out, I can take this this slider. With, it says open ratio and pull it out and it's going to swing that door right out. 
So if you want to position your doors so that they're open, you can change that open ratio uh, to 100 or to 50. I kind of take it back to zero there. Um, let's flip this back to the right. And um, and then we have uh, we have um, the ability to change the width or the height of the door. In this case, um, so this is a six foot eight eight inch door. Um, let's say I want to change that to an eight foot door. So it's going to update that that dory. Let me change it back just so you can see how see that changing. So it's going to it's going to change it back to a six foot eight inch door, but I want it to be a an eight foot door. <clears throat> and then you'll see available there's a lot of other um, if you click the more button there's a lot of other options. Um, there's, there's quite a few um, different variables that you can control um, for for a door object. Um, and they're all available to you here when you click the more button. So I'm going to go back here and click OK. Now if I'm in, now once I make my second door, I'm going to go back to my, my door tool here. I'm going to click that curved wall. And I'm going to click my reference point. Now I could go back and choose the door from the catalog, or if I wanted to, I can just select the door, the previous door I created. The advantage of that is that it not only grabs <clears throat> the catalog information, but it also um, it also uh, brings in the changes that I made to the standard, the default settings for the catalog element. So you can see it's already set at eight feet. Um, this is kind of this is a nice uh, advantage. Here I just flipped the operation side to left instead of right. This is this is a nice um, option because that way, if they're all kind of the same, um, uh, the same settings, you can you don't have to go in and, and redo the, the settings. So click OK. So now I have two doors placed in my curved wall. Let's save that. Uh, now I'm going to place a, a window. Now the window. Um, works just like the door. And I actually have two window options here. I have a standard <coughs> window tool which basically takes a point and places that window exactly at that point. And it could be a, a point in 3D. Now I, I prefer to use a window at elevation because just like the multi-support beam, it takes two inputs. So it takes a location and plan and you can give it an elevation uh, distance. So I'm going to click that window at elevation tool. And I'm going to select the curved wall. And just like the door, the first thing I need to select is um, my reference point. And I'm going to go into the catalog. I'm going to go down to IFC standard windows and I'm just going to pick um, in this case the IFC single single panel um, just a simple window here double click that and it's going to bring it in from the catalog now I can change these um, these uh, values. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make this a uh, three foot uh, four inch, so a 40 inch window width. And my height, I'm going to change to um, to let's see, seven feet six inches. Oh, doesn't like that. I guess I need to enter in inches. So let's uh, let's say. Um, Let's say I'm going to do uh, 